Hello, I'm Liviu Balan, and today I will show you how to manage authenticated user configuration on SFTP in Ubuntu Server. So, let's get started. During this tutorial, I will use a GitHub repository project of mine named liviubalancom vagrant ubuntu If you want to learn more about this project, you can check out the useful links section here and in this section, uh, verify the github.com URL that I've provided here. Okay, on my local operating system, I have an up and running uh, virtual machine and in order to connect to it, I will use Vagrant SSH. So type Vagrant SSH and hit the enter key. Okay, uh, next let's talk a little about the SFTP protocol. SFTP stands for SSH File Transfer Protocol. There are numerous uh, SFTP server implementation, both, both for uh, Linux, Windows, and ZOX, ZOS. The most widely known is perhaps OpenSSH, but there are also proprietary implementations. Typically, the port used is 22. SFTP uh, file transfer protocol is part of SSH protocol suite. Okay. On my uh, virtual machine, I already have an uh, up and running uh, open SSH server. So in order to check this, uh, use PS AUX pipe grep SSH. And as you can see here, I have an instance of SSH, which is up and running. Okay. Um, now I will open an uh, SFTP uh, client, FileZilla in my case, and uh, let's open uh, the site manager in order to define a new connection. So I will choose File, Site Manager, and from here I will duplicate an already defined site. So I will choose the http.livubalon.com FTP login, this one, and before uh, pressing the duplicate button, I will copy the name of the new site, http.dvbalan.com sftp login. So copy and now duplicate, paste the new name and hit the enter key. Here on the general tab, I will make some uh, changes. So uh, for the host value, we remain uh, the same http.libubalan.com but for the protocol I will change the FTP file transfer protocol to SFTP SSH file transfer protocol. Uh, the logon uh, type will uh, remain the same normal and I will use the username uh, the user and password uh, Libu uh, and uh, uh, the Libu password the Libu user password in order to connect to my uh, virtual machine through SFTP. Okay, now if I hit the OK button and then if I open the site manager again by clicking this icon here, now I am able to press the connect button and you will see that I am getting a pop-up window here, a known host key, the server host's key, the server's host key is unknown you have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. Because uh, I know uh, the virtual machine that I'm connecting to, I will press the OK button. If you don't want to see this pop-up window again, you can press, uh, you can check this button here, always trust, always trust uh, this host, add this key to the cache. For now, I will press the OK button and you will see that I am connected to my virtual machine through SFTP, as you can see here, SFTP user at http.livubalan.com and I am located in uh, my uh, home directory of user Livio. Okay, now if I change the remote site to var www http.livubalan.com you will see that this is a, a directory of a virtual host of mine. Now, if I click a file, right click on it and download, 
you'll see that I'm able to uh, download the file-1.txt and also uh, if I go for example to APC and here right click on info.txt and upload, you'll see that I am able to upload info.txt here. So at this step I am able to both download and upload files to my virtual machine through SFTP as you can see here. Okay, now uh, I will show you how you can use SFTP to connect to your uh, virtual machine by using private a private key instead of typing the password. So uh, before doing this, I will go to my uh, command line interface and I will open a new tab. This is because I want to uh, show you my local operating system and uh, the livebolan.com-vagrant-ubuntu directory uh, where some data is stored. So from my host operating system, I will type vagrant ssh-config and here I will hit the enter key. Here you will see some info about the ssh configuration but uh, during this tutorial the most important one is this. This is the location of the private key that you use when you connect uh, to the virtual machine using vagrant ssh. So when you use Vagrant SSH, you connect uh, to the virtual machine using this key and the user that uh, you are using is Vagrant. So for now, I will copy the location of the private key and I will go to FileZilla and I will make uh, some configurations. So here in FileZilla, I will click on Edit uh, settings. Go to the SFTP uh, tab and here press the add, uh, add key file. This button here, add key file. Okay, now choose a directory and as you can see here I can specify the full location part, path. Here I will paste the location that I've previously copied and click the open button. As you can see, uh, FileZilla can't uh, use the key as is, so you will have to convert the file into, into a, another format in order to use it inside of FileZilla. Let's read the message that FileZilla is giving us here. Convert key file. The file name and then the location of the private key uh, is not uh, in a uh, format supported by FileZilla. Would you like to convert it into a supported uh, format? I will have to uh, click on the yes button and here I will have to specify the location of the key uh, that uh, FileZilla will convert it for me. So click on the desktop, uh, on the desktop directory and the name of the new converted key will be filezilla-keyfile. Click on save and as you can see here, filezilla is saving uh, the location of the private uh, key that I've given giving it. Okay, now click on the OK button and next I will open again the site manager uh, window by clicking uh, this icon and next I will duplicate the http.libubalan.com sftp login uh, site. Okay, so I will duplicate this one uh, and the name that I will use is this one http.libubalan.com sftp key. So copy the, the name uh, duplicate and paste the name that I will uh, use. Hit the enter key and now uh, I will have to make some changes in the general tab here. So uh, the host will remain the same, the protocol will remain the same, the logon type will remain the same, 
But what I will change next is the user and password. So instead of user review, which is a system user, I will use the system user Vagrant, which is created by default when you use Vagrant. And instead of typing a password, I will remove it and I will do not provide any password here. So uh, now if I click on the, on the connect button, you will see that mm, because I'm already connected uh, to my virtual machine uh, previously, I have to abort uh, the previous connection and connect it to the current tab. Click the OK button. And as you can see here, now I am connected uh, to my virtual machine uh, through SFTP, as you can see here, using the user Vagrant to the host http.livubalan.com. The current uh, remote site directory, as you can see here, is the home directory of user Vagrant, which is the user that I'm using right now to connect to my virtual machine. Now, uh, I can uh, download and upload a file here. For example, if I go again to bar www and here select http.livubalan.com, you will see that I am able to download a file, for example, this one, AP APC store, and also I am able to upload the file, file-1.txt. Okay, at this step, I am able to connect to my virtual machine using SFTP uh, by using a system user, Vagrant, and uh, using a private key by using a client, SF, uh, an SFTP client, FileZilla in my case. Okay, uh, some important things that you have to consider when you're using SFTP. Do not confuse SFTP with FTPS. These are two different protocols. As you can see here, SFTP and FTPS protocols share nothing in common except the, their ability to securely transfer files. SFTP, uh, FTPS, FTPS is based on FTP, while uh, F SFTP is based on SSH. So FTPS means FTP secure, while SFTP means uh, SSH uh, file transfer protocol. So these are two different protocols and do not confuse them. Okay, also do not confuse FTP with FTPS. For example, let's open the site manager again. And now if I connect uh, to my uh, virtual machine uh, using FTPS explicit disconnection here, click on it and click on connect and OK, you will see that unknown, uh, you will see the unknown uh, certificate uh, pop up, click on the OK button. And as you can see here, I am connecting to my virtual machine. But if I uh, want to connect to my virtual machine using an FTP login, click on the connect button, OK, you'll see that here I am getting this error, 530 non-anonymous uh, session must use encryption. So after you enable the FTPS uh, protocol, you are not able to use FTP also on the same virtual machine on, or on the same server. Okay, so this is how you manage authenticated user configuration uh, on SFTP in Ubuntu server. If you want to learn more about FTP, about SSH, about uh, Ubuntu, about web technologies, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livyubalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.